Hey guys, Sean Nalawani here of SeanNal.com and BodyTransformationTruth.com and in this video I want to discuss behind the neck presses and whether or not they are a safe and effective lift to include in your routine. So basic overhead free weight presses have always been considered as the underlying foundation of effective shoulder training. Along with the military press and the seated overhead dumbbell press, uh, behind the neck presses are another popular variation that you'll often see uh, being performed at the gym. Now, although these have been a staple lift in bodybuilding routines for decades, their safety is often brought up as an issue of concern. It's claimed that they place the shoulder into a vulnerable position and put the lifter at risk for injury. But what is the real truth here? Are behind the neck presses safe or should you scrap them from your program altogether? Well, when you consider the basic biomechanics of the movement, it is fairly clear to see that the critics of this lift are in fact correct. You'll almost certainly be best off ditching those behind the neck presses and replacing them with a pressing movement from the front. And here's why. In order to move your upper arms into the proper position to execute this lift, your shoulders have to be placed into an extreme externally rotated position. And this forces the subscapularis, which is one of the four small rotator cuff muscles, into an overly stretched position. Now this is fine if you're simply sitting there with your arms suspended in the air, but add a heavy barbell into the equation, which then has to be pressed up and down close to the point of muscular failure, and you end up creating a very risky scenario for yourself. The rotator cuff is a small, delicate group of muscles and tendons that act to stabilize your shoulder joint and they are not designed to lift heavy loads like this. Overly stress these muscles to the point of injury and your entire upper body training routine and even some of your lower body lifts like your squats or your uh, barbell lunges are going to suffer potentially irreversibly. Now, is it possible that someone could perform behind the neck presses consistently without sustaining an injury? Well, sure, it's perfectly possible and many lifters have done so for months and years and still don't end up running into any real problems. However, I really can't think of any good reason why you should take the risk. Performing overhead presses behind your neck is not going to give you any added benefit in comparison to performing them to the front or in comparison to performing them seated using dumbbells, which is the variation that I ultimately would recommend. Pressing weights overhead from the front is a natural movement pattern for the human body, and it will allow you to effectively stimulate your shoulder muscles without putting your rotator cuffs at risk, assuming that you're training with proper form, of course. The main argument that most lifters who are in favor of the behind the neck press give is that it targets the lateral head of the shoulder, which is the middle portion, more effectively than a press from the front. And while this may be true to a degree, it's still irrelevant in the big picture since the anterior delt, which is the front head, still remains as the prime mover regardless, and the majority of the lateral deltoid stimulation and growth that you achieve in your program is gonna come as a result of your side lateral raises anyway. So regardless of how you perform an overhead press, whether it's to the front or behind the neck, it's still ultimately a front delt exercise. And for these reasons, I would recommend that you remove behind the neck presses from your routine because there's really no upside and there is a very serious potential downside. To get the same muscle building effects while keeping your shoulder joints safe and healthy, stick with a barbell military press to the front or even better, a seated overhead dumbbell press. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found the information useful. If you did find the information helpful, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on future video lessons. Also make sure to check out my complete step-by-step -step muscle building and fat loss programs over at bodytransformationtruth.com. The link for that is in the description box. And make sure to join the Facebook page for daily tips and updates. The link for that is also in the description box. Talk to you again soon.